Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about finding a weighted mean or a weighted average. A super common example of a weighted average is what we call our GPA or grade point average. That is a system that is used to assign points to your grades so that you can get an overall feel for how you've been doing. So this system assigns points as following. An A is worth four points, a B is worth three, a C is worth two, a D is worth one, and an F is worth zero. So let's say that a particular student had these final grades in courses with these credit hours. We want to figure out their average grade point or their GPA. So the way that we would calculate that is first, in this case, we need to convert these final grades into their numbers that are assigned. That won't always have to happen. Sometimes your, uh, your item will always or already be numerical and you would be just skipping this step. But for us, we do need to do this. So a C is a two. All my C's are twos. A B is a three. So I'll go ahead and change that. And an A is a four. So what we want to do now is we want to multiply the grade value times the number of credit hours or its weight to get what we would call our grade point. So I'm just going to multiply across and fill in my grade point. So 2 times 3 gives me 6, 2 times 4 gives me 8, 3 times 1 gives me 3, 4 times 3 gives me 12, 2 times 2 gives me 4, and 3 times 3 gives me 9. So now I have all of my grade points, and I simply need to take the average of these numbers. So when I take the average of those, I'm going to take my GPA here, I'm going to add up my grade points, 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 12 plus 4 plus 9, and I'm going to divide by the number of credit hours that I took. So I'm going to divide by my total credit hours. So if I were to add those up, 3 plus 4 gives me 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 3 is 16. So I'm going to divide by my total number of credit hours which is 16. So if I sum up the top values, I get 42 divided by 16 gives me a GPA of 2.63. So with grades shown, we would get a weighted average or a GPA of 2.63. Generalizing that process to talk about finding weighted means in general, what we did is we multiplied the value times the weight for each of our categories. So each one we multiplied value times weight to give us a number. We then took the average of those numbers by summing those up and dividing by our total number of weights there. In this case, our total number of credit hours. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.